is Giorgio, this is uh, Luca, and this is Paolo. We are from Virtual Bike, Rome. We come from Rome in Italy. Uh, we came out from. We came, we came with this project uh, one year ago, almost, uh, to permit people to bike indoor uh, while discovering cities around the world. We are, uh, let's say, we, we pick the most exciting cities we know, the monuments, the best place, and we permit people to uh, discover this city while riding through them in a virtual world, which is a mixture of uh, uh, real footages and 3D technologies. We are using uh, advanced reality to add uh, what is missing to the, the footages, which can be a little bit annoying or boring. So people get more excited about the contents, about the, uh, what is uh, inside the, what we provide. In, we have three different applications, and virtual uh, advanced reality will permit us to uh, customize the content to the, the, the segment, to the, the, the kind of usage we do. Uh, this product can be uh, it can be in everybody's home. We are planning to develop uh, a version which is cheaper for home usages. At the moment, the prototype is more uh, conceived to be an installation in places like museums or uh, hospitals or where people can't dry, uh, ride outdoor. Uh, we permit. We are trying to use the advanced reality to improve the experience of riding through these cities. Basically, uh, we wanted uh, uh, the first prototype. Mm. We wanted an experience that is uh, cultural but uh, fun at the same time. So um, we um, thinking about something that lets you have an exercise, learn something, ride in a new city if you want, and at the, at the same time have fun. Uh, so uh, the game part of uh, the installation lets you ride inside uh, the streets of a city, and uh, you have to steer and to. Um, um, complete the, um, the path in less time possible to any more points and you can fight with your friends if you want and uh, have fun. This is one of the main points in the uh, exercise. Uh, people exercising indoor, they, they are bored of having the, always the same footage going and going. Uh, virtual uh, advanced reality will permit us to get the thing much more exciting, much more positive. Uh, people get faster, they, they challenge the game, they go through the, the levels uh, and they, they're very happy. The bike we have here uh, has only a projector which permits the people around here to experience the same uh, that the person who is riding the bike uh, experience. Of course we are looking forward uh, toward the, the Oculus Rift and how this will, be, uh, this will come out. We think that at the end the final product we can be used with the Oculus Rift. Or you, or products similar to this one. Yeah, that would be a, fe a future feature. Uh, we are planning to diversify the segments where we are targeting. Uh, we are first uh, focusing more on into the installation that museums are already interested. We, are, we, are, we have been already contacted by municipalities and uh, city halls that wants this to be in their, their facilities to promote the, the things. In the second time, we have to, to move the segment and to enter all the home, home entertainment segment uh, which is much more interesting in terms of business, but of course needs a, uh, uh, an improvement of the, uh, of the product. Well, we, we received so many good, good feedbacks. That's, uh, that's, an, that's exciting because it gives us much uh, positive feeling about the thing. Uh, we, uh, many people are interested, especially for the home entertainment segment. Uh, that doesn't happen too much in, uh, uh, in, in uh, Europe. People don't have a bike, they have smaller living rooms, they don't have a bike to put in the living room. Here in the States, apparently, everybody has a bike and a stand, and they want, we are really excited about that, they want to buy that here. They say, how much it costs? We have a website, thevirtualbike.com. Uh, we have Facebook, The Virtual Bike. Uh, you can follow us, you can find us. Even on Twitter, The Virtual Bike.